and we live. Welcome to the channel. It's Noble Credit. Today we're going to be talking about what card or cards I'm going to apply for once I go below 524. The reason why this is a little bit more special than maybe a normal video. Am I hearing an echo? Making sure. The reason why this is a little bit more special than a normal video is because I'm at what you would consider the end game, the end game of credit cards, meaning my credit card journey is pretty much over. It's done. I'm finished getting credit cards. And you might think, how is that possible? You'd have to have a million credit cards. Well, I'm up there. But the next time that I go below 524, that will literally be my last stand. And for good reason. Because, yes, at a certain point, you should probably stop getting a lot of credit cards because you should have enough or a lot or you should be getting the benefits from the credit cards that you need. But then you reach a point where you literally can't get any more credit cards. And I'll explain which, to you what I'm talking about there. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go to Chase's website. Um, but before we go to that, I should probably tell you which chase cards that I currently have. So welcome, 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 uh, everybody, everyone who's joining, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. So people that, so people know that this is a good video, you know, I'm good for it. It's noble credit. All right. I have, I am, I'm not famous at all, but within these circles, there isn't another person that has three Chase Sapphire reserves. You're not going to find that here on YouTube. I do. All right. So I have three Chase Sapphire reserves. I have one IHG credit card, the IHG Premier credit card. I have one Hyatt credit card. I have one Chase Ritz Carlton credit card. Where is that? That's right here. Gotta have that Ritz on me. I have a United Club card. I think that's it for Chase credit cards for me. And then I have the uh, the Chase Business Inc. Cash credit card. Now, that's not all the cards in my setup because I split everything with a. Turn that down. I split everything with a player two and player two has cards as well. Player two has the Southwest priority card. We were able to use that companion pass that unlimited companion pass for a year. And that came in really, that came in handy for us. Uh, player two, she also has the, the chase business Inc unlimited. And then Player two has a Chase Sapphire Reserve. Player two has a United Quest credit card. And I believe that's it. So, all of these credit cards, all of these Chase cards, why am I saying the next Chase credit card or Chase credit cards that I get, that's going to be it? Well, because I'm not really going to be able to get any more. And here's why. Let's go to my screen recording. All right, so follow along with me. All right, so here's the list of Chase credit cards. And I should preface this by saying I won't be able to get any more Chase personal credit cards. Or if I'm able to get it, it they won't make sense. And then at the end, I'll tell you which Chase credit cards that I will be getting once I go below 524 later this year. All right, so let's start off with the Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card. By the way, if you are interested in obtaining any of these credit cards that I talk about on the channel, I have a link tree. And I'll post that there in the chat. Should you want to apply for credit card yourself. With the Chase Freedom Unlimited, my only use case for getting one of these is to upgrade to another Chase Sapphire Reserve. 
but do I really want to wait another year in order to upgrade a card like this? Uh, so that question would come up and then same thing with the chase freedom flex because there's, I'm probably not going to be able to get the $10,000 credit limit in order to get these upgrades, especially with these cards. They're probably not going to give it to me chase. They're probably just going to be stingy with the credit limit. So moving on from these two, I'll actually come back to it. The chase freedom rise credit card. No, it's a credit builder credit card. It's not really, it's not really for, you know, obtaining like travel rewards, which is one of the things that I do. I like travel rewards cards. The Slate Edge, another use case for a possible upgrade to another Chase Fire Reserve. And while I while I could use it to do that, the same thing with the Chase Freedom Flex. In fact, the first Chase credit card that I ever had was the Chase Slate before it was called the Chase Slate Edge. And that card I ended up upgrading to probably a Freedom Unlimited. Or I think I did upgrade it uh, directly to a Chase Sapphire Reserve. But same case for, you know, the Chase Freedom Flex. So I'll click on the Freedom Unlimited and show you. So with the bonus, you actually can't even get the bonus if you've received the bonus within the past 24 months. So. You would also be banking on getting the you'd be banking on getting the bonus for the card or uh, being able to upgrade it to another Chase F I reserve. And this is particularly if you're military because you don't have to pay the annual fees. So it's do you want to wait a whole another year to upgrade, or do you want to go get a card that you can get value out of now? And with the sign up bonus being two hundred dollar bonus. Maybe there are other cards that you can get even more value out of way more than $200 worth of value. So that's, that's what I'm looking at. So now that moves us to chase if I prefer territory. Now this gets into the territory of the cards that I absolutely cannot get because the chase Sapphire cards, they have a rule you. And it's right here. This product is available to you if you do not have any Sapphire card and have not received a new card member bonus for any Sapphire card in the past 48 months. While I have not received a card member bonus in the past 48 months because I've had my Chase Sapphire reserves for over four years, well over four years, I have a Chase Sapphire card. So I cannot just outright apply for the Chase Sapphire preferred so some people are familiar with the rule, the one Sapphire rule. Well, that's one Sapphire that you can apply for. You can wiggle your way around that rule by product changing up to another Chase Sapphire card. That's how I have multiple Chase Sapphire cards. So Chase Sapphire preferred, nil, no go, can't do it. Same thing with the Chase Sapphire reserve. Can't apply for another Chase Sapphire reserve. Can't get a bonus, so it's no use in even thinking about it. Now that moves us on to the Prime Visa. Not really a card. See, I don't have Amazon Prime, so not even a card that I would even consider getting because I don't use the primary service. Same thing with the Amazon Visa. Not really a concern of mine. I'm more focused on travel rewards. And that moves us to our first airline credit card, the Southwest Rapid Rewards Plus credit card. This is the $69 annual fee credit card by Southwest. While the Southwest cards do offer pretty good value, they, they offer the best value when you get that bonus for the unlimited uh, companion pass. And that comes with the Southwest Priority credit card, which... I had that unlimited companion pass last year, but that was player two's card. So I could get this Southwest priority card and have that unlimited companion pass, but, or if the bonus is available then, but right now the bonus isn't even available. 
So right here it says earn 50,000 points after qualifying purchases. I think the bonus has been like 3,000. Let's see. Oh, it spent 1,000, which is actually a pretty good bonus for the amount of spend, but not worth it to me. Because if you want to get like a car like the Southwest priority card, you have to map out your travel to make it extremely worth it for you. By that time, I will be during that time, I will be taking a decent enough break from travel that at least half the year, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go anywhere um, after after getting that next car just because of the way like travel has to be segmented, um, plan things out well in advance. So uh, it, it just wouldn't be in the cards to do so many flights. Um, it just wouldn't be in the cards. And I think I have a better option. Moving on, Southwest Premier Car, same thing, but uh, even less advantageous considering you don't get like the $75 annual Southwest credit with it. So yeah, moving on to the United cards. And I already said in the beginning of the video, I already have the United club card and then player two already has the United quest card. Player two also has the priority card. So, but you know, we've already, the unlimited campaign pass has already expired on that. So the United Explorer card, no. No need to get that United Quest card. No need to get another United Quest, United Gateway card. No United Club Infinite card. No, because I already have it. Now let's move on to the Aeroplan card. Oh, player two has the Aeroplan card, by the way. But this card, the reason why I wouldn't get this is because Aeroplan card is used for like Air Canada flights. And I don't plan on doing much travel between like Canada or between the US and Canada or even going to Europe, which is going to uh, get rid of some of these other cars on the list, such as the British Airways card, Aer Lingus card, the Iberia, all of these airline cards. These are for, you know, intercontinental flights to and from Europe. So British Airways, for example, obviously, you know, Great Britain, England uh, is where, you know, the, the hub for this airline would be Aer Lingus, uh, similar, but, you know, in Europe, uh, Iberia, Iberia's hub is Madrid, Spain. So these, these cards, you would have to be doing a considerable amount of travel, I would think, or have a plan to go to Europe or go from Europe to like somewhere in South America where, you know, an Iberia flight would or could go. And that's when I think it would be worth it for you. If you don't have a plan for that, they're not worth it. They're barely worth it even for that. Like you could, you, you would probably be better off getting like a really nice sign up bonus on like an American Express platinum card. And just plan it, paying for the flight that way, or getting a nice bonus on a Chase Sapphire Reserve, and you know the points are going to be worth more. Hopefully, the transfer to Aeroplan makes it worth it more by transferring the points instead of booking through the Chase Travel Portal. So, so yeah, those those cards are no. Actually, let me let's talk about. The Instacart, Mastercard, no, no Instacart, no DoorDash card. That's that's just no. Uh, if you want to get my thoughts on the DoorDash card, I have a video on that from last year when the card was first introduced. Now that brings us to the World of Hyatt card. Sounds like a really good candidate for the next card. Maybe double up on that World of Hyatt. Sounds like a good candidate, but. You'll realize if you try to apply for the World of Hyatt card, it says something right here. This product is available to you if you do not have this card and have not received a new card member bonus for this card in the past 24 months. 
This means if I want the word of Hyatt card, I can only have it one time. It's not like a Chase Sapphire Reserve where I can where I have a roundabout way to upgrade to uh, one from a Chase Freedom or a Freedom Flex or a Slate Edge. There's only one way to get a word of Hyatt card, and that's to apply for it. And you are not allowed to apply for it if you already have the card. So that's what I mean by I can't get that card. Not allowed. Okay, so I got to skip that. Got to skip these Disney cars too. These are these are gimmicky cars. No need to ever, no need for me to ever touch these. IHG One Rewards Traveler Credit Card. So basically, the the no annual fee version of the IHG Rewards One Premier Card. Uh, the place where I will uh, downgrade should that day come even though that they shouldn't really come considering the IHG card is a keeper card. But the IHG One Rewards card is a no. All right, now move on to IHG One Rewards Premier card. $99 annual fee. Sounds like I, I should be able to double up on my IHG. All right, let's see what happens when you click it. Wait a second, I'm seeing that same message. This product is available to you if you do not have a current IHG One Rewards credit card and have not received a new card member bonus within the last 24 months. This does not apply to the business credit card products. So that means if I already have an IHG, I can't apply for an IHG One Rewards Premier credit card. Well, you might think, well, then just apply for the IHG One Rewards Traveler credit card to get around that. Kind of like the Chase FI Reserve, getting a Freedom Flex or Freedom Unlimited or Chase Slate Edge. Let's see what the IHG One Rewards Traveler credit card says. Now you're try you're you're kind of getting the picture of what I'm painting here. This product is available to you if you do not have a current IHG One Rewards credit card. Interesting. So. Even if I want it to go the roundabout way, I can't because if you already have an ISG card, you can't apply for the ISG One Rewards Traveler credit card and you can't apply for the ISG One Rewards Premier credit card. So I, there's, no, there's not going to be any doubling up on the ISG card and there's not going to be any doubling up on the Hyatt card. So we move on. And that brings us to the Marriott Bonvoy Bold, the no annual fee version where you, will, where you will product change your Marriott cards once it's all said and done, once you're done getting free night certificates and things like that. But is it worth getting the Marriott Bonvoy Bold? No. It might be, but no. Reason is because the Bonvoy Boundless and the Bonvoy Bountiful both exist. The Bonvoy Balance is the card that I got back in 2021 that I used to upgrade to the Chase Ritz Carlton credit card. The good news is, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the lingo. They don't even offer any. They don't even offer a, like a disclaimer for the car for applying for it or like getting the bonus. So let's go into the offer in details because sometimes you just gotta, you gotta go into the offer in details. You know, uh, while it doesn't say it right here, it could say it in the offer in details. So let's check it. Why not? All right. The new card member bonus is not available to you. If you, Currently have or had any of the following cards within the last 30 days. Marriott Bonvoy American Express card. The star would prefer guest credit card from American Express. Or if you applied and were approved for any of the following cards within the last 90 days. Or received a new card member bonus or upgrade bonus for any of the following cards within the past 24 months. Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express card. Star would prefer guest business credit card from American Express. Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant American Express card. Star would prefer guest American Express Luxury Card, Marriott Bonvoy Bevy American Express Card. So, you might have to you might have to read that one again to 
understand what they were saying. Let's read this top part. Three free night awards after you spend 3000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. This credit card is not available to you if. Okay, so the first part was about the new the card member bonus. This first part is about the card is not going to be available to you if you currently have any of the following cards or received a new card member bonus for any of the following cards within the past 24 months. Marriott Bonvoy Premier Card, Marriott Rewards Premier Card, Marriott Bonvoy Balance Credit Card, Marriott Rewards Premier Plus Card, Marriott Bonvoy Bowl Card. You know what card is missing from here? The Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant Card. I have that. Also, the Chase Rich Carlson card is missing from here. I have that. Looks like I'm allowed to get this card because I don't have the Marriott Bonvoy Balance. I have the Rich Carlson. It's a difference. So, I will be allowed to get this card. Now, will I be allowed to get the card member bonus? That's a different story. What's going to happen is once I go below 524, and I'm hoping to go below 524 and then get to 324. This will be one of the cards that I get. And then um, I will not be able to get the sign up bonus for the card. Here's why. The new card member bonus is not available to you if you currently have or had any of the following cards within the last 30 days. And I will have that Marriott Bonvoy brilliant still. The Marriott Bonvoy American Express card to start a preferred guest card from American Express. Or if you applied and were approved for any of the following cards within the last 90 days or received a new card member bonus or upgrade bonus of any of the following cards within the 20, last 24 months. Oh, actually, sorry. I will I will actually be eligible for the sign up bonus. So uh, disregard what I just said. I will be eligible for the sign up bonus once this day comes. So. Um, I just couldn't have received a new card member bonus or upgrade bonus for any of the following cards within the past 24 months, which I didn't, which includes the, uh, Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant. And that's, I, I would qualify. So whatever the bonus is at this time, I will be able to get it. So if it's earned three free night awards after you spend 3000 on purchases in your first three months of having a car. I will be able to get that bonus. I'm assuming it will probably be different by the time I go below 524 later this year. But that is a card that I will get. Um, now, I mentioned one card. There's one more card that I would get. May not have expected this. Because it's such a... The Bonvoy balance is just better than this card. But let's scroll down. The Marriott Bonvoy Bountiful card. Why would I get this card? I cannot prove this yet. And if you know you've had this card, put it in the chat. I would try to upgrade this Bonvoy Bountiful card to a Chase Rich Carlson card. If I can't, that's fine. All right. The bonus is pretty nice. 85,000 points. But is there anything stopping me from getting the card? Let's check. All right. So no language in the bonus offer. So I got to check the offer details. Now. This card is not available to you if you have, if you currently have this card or you received a new card member bonus for this card within the past 24 months. I don't currently have this card. I've never had the card, so I haven't received a bonus in the last 24 months. Then the new card member bonus is not available to you if you currently have or had this the following at any of the following cards within the last 30 days. Two, you applied and were approved for any of the following cards within the last 90 days, or you received a new card member bonus or upgrade bonus for any of the following cards within the last 24 months. All right, so they're they're confusing me a little bit with this verbiage. So part of me thinks. Maybe with that Bonvoy balance credit card, I actually can't get the bonus because of the way it's worded. 
even if I can't, it's still going to be worth it for me because I'll just upgrade it to a Bonvoy Boundless or Bonv uh, Chase Rich Carlton car. But let me just double check this. The Bonvoy Balances, uh, you can't get the bonus if you currently have or had any of the following cards within the last three days. Marriott Bonvoy, American Express card, so I would prefer a guest card from American Express. All right. So those are the only ones that you're not eligible for the bonus if you had those cards or if you applied and were approved for any of the following cards within the last 90 days. And then if you received a new car member bonus or upgrade bonus for any of the following cards and they, they list those cards. So I think I'm good to go on the Bonvoy Bountiful side. Now the Bonvoy Bountiful says, You can't get the bonus if you currently have or had any of the following cards in the last 30 days. You applied and were approved for any of the following cards within the last 90 days, or you received a new car member bonus or upgrade bonus for any of the following cards in the past 24 months. Whatever they say, I'm not going to be guilty of because there are no Marriott cards that I've gotten a bonus for within the past two years. And especially by the time I go below 524. So, but they say the Marriott Bonvoy American Express card, the Star Preferred Guest credit card from American Express, Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express card, Star Preferred Guest Business credit card from American Express, Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant American Express credit card, Star Preferred Guest American Express luxury credit card, Marriott Bonvoy Bevy American Express card. So, looks like I qualify for the bonus for the Bonvoy Bountiful credit card as well. Which brings us to which credit cards I will be getting once I go below 524. So that will be the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless and the Marriott Bonvoy Bountiful. And that's why. And then uh, both of those cards will be upgraded to Ritz Carlson cards at the end. So when it's all said and done, I will have, I should have multiple Ritz Carlton cards, which gives me that 85,000 point free night certificate, which you can top off 15,000 points um, to give you a 100,000 point free night certificate. This is going to add more cars to the, the uh, free night certificates, the free night certificates for Marriott. Because I have, I currently have six. This is a this is a wise thing to do if you're in the military, uh, especially if you're early in the military. You know, you, you're not on your last leg. You still have time to get you a proper setup like this. Um, yeah, stacking these hotels because when you when you travel, when you do like aspirational stays, you'll quickly realize hotels take up the majority. Of the money, like flights are yes, international flights are expensive, but if you want to stay in like decent accommodations, hotel prices will like jack up your expenses, including resort fees, um, valet parking, normal parking at a hotel. Like, uh, yeah, hotels easily become the most expensive part of a trip a lot of the times, especially if you're staying for an extended period of time. So that is why I think stacking up on hotel cards, it, especially ones that offer free night certificates, is the way to go. Now, the Bonvoy Balance doesn't offer a free night certificate, but that's not why I have the card. The bonus is nice, but the reason why I would get that card is to see if I can upgrade it to a Ritz-Carlton later on. Uh, I'll check to see if there's any precedent for that, but it probably, I'm probably not going to be able to find any precedents um, to see, to say that you can upgrade the Bountiful to a Ritz Carlton card. Um, I would probably have to be the first to figure that out, but it's worth a shot. And even if I'm not able to get both, I would get the Boundless because then even then, I would get a nice sign up bonus, and also I would get that 35 or that. 50k free night certificate for 50k award free night certificate which will still come in handy and if you're familiar with this channel what i did 
when I first got the Bonvoy Balance, I waited patiently. And that day that I hit 365 days with having the card, I upgraded it to the Chase Ritz Carlson credit card. And I documented that entire upgrade process through about four or five videos. Uh, so you can check the channel for that. Let me take a look at the chat. Sendo says, no fee and a free night? I must have missed that on the bold. No, the bold. Uh, let me check. See what you're talking about. Oh, it's saying earn one free night award after you spend a thousand on purchases in the first three months. Technically, that's actually a really good bonus. It's kind of akin to the Southwest priority bonus where they're giving you spend a thousand, get 50,000 Southwest points. Um, so that, that's a pretty good bonus for a no annual fee card, you know, getting upwards of 500, 500, 500 bucks out of it for not, a, not very much spend at all. That's a, that's crazy value actually. Sindo says, how would they even know? Is it linked to your Marriott? So yeah, my, my account is linked and what happens is it's better. Um, it's better to apply for these credit cards and then, you know, they'll ask you on the application. Hey, do you have a, I'll show you. I will show you. All right, Bonvoy Bountiful. Apply as guest. See, like right here, they ask uh, if you aren't already a Marriott Bonvoy member, you'll automatically be enrolled when you're approved for this card. And um, they will give you another number if you don't give them a number. So I like to have all my cards on one account. So it's just better for me to just give my Marriott number. Now you're asking uh, if you already have the, if you already have the card and you don't report your Marriott number, how would they even know? They probably are going to know um, maybe your social security number because you use your social security number to apply for credit cards. Maybe your social security number is mapped already in Marriott system which would not surprise me. And so they know which credit cards you have. They know what bonuses you've received because I'm pretty sure your the bonuses might not be mapped to your card, your membership number, because you could just use a different membership number to apply for a different credit card, but they probably just map it to your social security number. So that's why there's no need to try to uh, finagle the system that way. So um, how would they even know it's you? Well, because you you should probably tell them that it's your Marriott card uh, and also because your social security number. So I would apply for credit cards. Like even when I apply for Hilton cards, I don't like to have any cards with different numbers because it just messes up, you know, my my credit card flow. And there's no need to not. There's no need to get a new number when I already have one, when I already have an established number. Um, so. And it doesn't hurt me. All right? It doesn't help me to not include it. It doesn't hurt me to include it. So include it. Hope that answers that question. But yeah, which card will I get when I go below 524? I hope this helped you kind of understand the process of somebody that's in the end game. And if you plan on being in the end game one day, hopefully, you know, you know, if you're active duty military, you would do something like this because stacking hotel cards is definitely the way to go. It's definitely the way that you're going to maximize your value. Yeah, you can spend money on flights. You can save up, excuse me, you can save up money on flights and get to a spot and you still have to fork over the money to stay in hotels. And if you want to stay in the spots that, you know, we're talking about on this channel, like take a look at, take a look at this. Like, like we're, we're talking about staying in spots that look like this. You know, this is a, this is a Hilton 
and they don't want to show me the the pictures. Ah, that's okay. They don't want to show me the pictures right there. But you know, we're trying to we're trying to stay in spots that like this. This is Anguilla. You know, while this is a Hilton and not a Marriott, I fully plan on being there one day. But also, there's like this spot in Cancun or not Cancun, uh, Los Cabos, where you know, you know, we're talking about getting a fifteen hundred dollar room per night for free, and I have six American Express Hilton Aspire cards. Like, if you know someone in the military. You should share this channel with them. You should like do them, do them a solid. There's no way you're going to be able to convince them. Like they, they literally have to see it. They would have to see like my Insta. Like you'd have to go to my Insta, Instagram and see like the types of spots that we really stay in. Um, but yeah, if you know someone in the military, definitely share this channel with them because they're just not going to get it. Like I can't, I can't, you know, go to you. I can't go to them and be like, hey, you need to follow my channel. No, it, they would have to hear it from someone that they trust. Hey, hey, uh, you should think about looking at this guy's channel. He's getting a bunch of benefits, a bunch of hotel um, hotels for free. And these aren't like, you know, cheap hotels. This isn't like Motel 6. He's getting the Waldorf Astoria for free. He's staying in the highest, the highest rated Hilton's in the country, Waldorf Astoria Park City, for free. Some of the best hotels in this country, like uh, Marriott Beaver Creek, Beaver Creek Lodge at Vail. Like going overseas and doing this. So that I I would, if you know someone in the military, do them a solid and share this with them because this is this is crazy value that you're getting. You think about. No, let's have a setup that I have where, you know, between myself and player two, we have six Hilton Aspire cards to give us a free night certificate each. The Waldorf Astoria Los Cabos Petit Grau, $1,500 per night. Six times $1,500. I don't even know what that is off the top of my head. What is that off the top of my head? Seventy, ooh, $9,000. I'm pretty sure I did that math right. $9,000 because I have credit cards. That's why. That's why we get it. You don't think that's worth it for someone in the military to know. I don't know. And then you then you get get the, the Marriott cards with it. And I have one Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant. I have the Chase Ritz Carlton credit card. That's two. That's two free night certificates, 85,000 point free night certificates. Player two has two Marriott Bonvoy Brilliance. Okay, that's four. That's four free night certificates. I'm talking about what I'm trying to do with the Bonvoy Bountiful and the Bonvoy Boundless. Now you got six. Six. 85,000 point properties. These are, these are not cheap. People doing well. How you doing, man? Yeah, these are not cheap. And these are, and this is every single year while you're in the military. So, yeah. Um, off my soapbox. Great. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check out this game. Um, let me see. Let me see what the score is for this game. Uh, All right, LSU 36, Iowa 34. All right, I'm going to go check this game out. Any questions in the chat? Any questions that I can answer before I head out? Oh, and definitely hit the like button for me. I'm trying to give you guys value. I'm trying to offer you guys a uh, perspective that you may not hear uh, anywhere else, but hopefully this helps you. Excuse me. Any bye.
Mabel says, take care. All right, guys. Peace. We out.